Hey everybody, it's Dawn, and I just wanted to record a very short video, which is unlike what I've been doing all week, I, um, to uh, let you know that this weekend is um, quite pivotal. This is, it's the 15th when I'm recording this, Friday, May 15th, 2020. And uh, so this weekend, I would like to invite you to take a few moments at some point during the weekend to uh, light a candle and or say a prayer or just get outside. I'm outside today. I'm so excited. I'm at taking care of dogs. I haven't been around animals for about two months and um, in a beautiful um, place with lots of nature and uh, this lovely fountain here and uh, yeah, just enjoying some outside time. So I'm encouraging you, everyone to get outside, um, connect with nature as much as possible um, and for your own benefit, but also to bring attention to what is happening collectively behind the scenes. I'm not sure that we'll necessarily hear this this weekend, but um, it's a very pivotal time. And, uh, and specifically, uh, as I mentioned, I recorded uh, three videos actually. One was three hours, 33 minutes, 33 seconds. Didn't plan it, but that's how long it was. And it was um, my uh, personal experience in the last 15 years. And I named names and I um, talked about all kinds of things about tracking. I talked about um, some of the uh, my own personal experience and some of the things I'd witnessed and some of the things I saw as a child talked about everything from like the man the briefcase with the brief and the man with the briefcase in the in the briefcase the man he should have been in the briefcase the man with the briefcase who used to come and show up in my classroom when I was you know six and then again when I was about eight and nine uh, I talked about government talked about religion and then I made a second video about the Vatican um, I'm going to delete both of those videos. The second video was about an, uh, it's a little over an hour, and um, it, it was important for me to do, but I have um, decided that neither one is, in, is important necessarily to release publicly. Um, the second on the Vatican was just basically in, uh, connecting some of the dots that other people have connected as well. Um, and I don't know if it's the exact videos anywhere out there, but um, the essential information I shared is. Um, but it was essentially just a, in a nutshell about the connections between banking, religion, and government and uh, the untangling of that web of deception and uh, specifically I, I, t I talked about Martin Luther in the 95 Theses and I talked about something I did three years ago on the 500th anniversary of that which was in Octo October 31st 2017 I believe and I wrote I kind of wrote my own 95 Theses <laughs> I don't have it anymore so I, I don't intend to share it but um, I talked about that a bit and um, yeah I talked about some things to do with um, the Vatican some of the things that have been hidden through the years um, most of it's available online different sources so you'll be able to find that if you want to know it basically you know just the everything from the uh, corruption that you know is actually public knowledge such as you know the fact that um, many of the former um, popes and, and cardinals have violated their own oaths of office and I talked about specifically I do want to mention one thing I talked about which is there's a tunnel that goes into the Vatican that has been always stated that the it was uh, used as an escape from the Vatican um, it should people need to leave. Um, I do believe it's been used in the opposite direction and I um, specifically would like that um, to be completely revealed and I also specifically called for the release of manuscripts. Um, supposedly manuscripts are only kept secret for 75 years and then made public. I don't think all. I don't think anywhere close to all of the manuscripts that are in the Vatican Library which is 53 miles of shelving um, have been made public and so I called um, for that to happen. So this weekend I would like to invite you if you feel so called to um, say uh, just a prayer. Bring your own I am presence, your own light um, to lend that light to the greater revelation of all that um, might be revealed and disentang the disentanglement of those threads of connection between uh, government systems, banking systems, and financial systems, and uh, religion, all major religions. Though I'm mentioning the Vatican here, um, it's, 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 it's many religion, religious orders, religious um, 
organizations. Now, I want to be clear, not all, neither the Vatican nor all uh, religious organizations are evil. I'm not suggesting that, but I am saying that um, there. this is a time when those sorts of agreements uh, that were rooted in creating fear, subjugating, subjugating, subjugating particular aspects of society and or uh, set up for profit and the promulgation of uh, untruths that then led to the use of propaganda as a tool to support the propagation of a lie. Um, I'm asking that all of that, uh, I, not I, I, Dawn, but I think that that uh, spirit is um, indicating that and within each of us that now is the time for this revelation to occur and so get out of nature be close to nature be close to your own i am presence and lift a prayer light a candle think happy thoughts and and also um align your your life in as much as you know how with with truth and the light of truth and welcome in the Spirit of God into your life and pray for not only peace but also the, f the fullness of all we are deserving of in terms of uh, both our unity in terms of all humanity but also our unique expressions being allowed um, and us, us stepping up and saying we will not forfeit that right anymore in terms of not having to hide in shadow not not being forced um, to uh, swallow uh, this load of shame that is put upon us by any authority or this these restrictions in terms of who we are as a soul so I believe that uh, we're at a crucial time I personally am, re am really excited about the ultimate place we're headed with this it's very difficult and I I spoke also in, in uh, the third video I made about the need to I alluded to this in the video I made about the waves which will you know we're in the pre-wave right now uh, and the um, July or so is uh, when I see, uh, you know, the picking up of the ra uh, radical, I guess, revelation is the right word, um, of various truths uh, occurring. But, oh, what was I trying to say? The, um, mm, hold on a sec. Oh, yes, I talked about being the calm and the chaos when I made that video. And, and in this other video I recorded, one of the things that I was saying was that, uh, you know, I personally have, I do have a deep love and concern for those who have been so entrenched in the illusion that they can't see that there is an illusion even now um, at all. And, and I certainly have, do not have the answers. I do not know. Um, and that's one of the ways that I wired myself, I think, you know, it's the reason I can, I can share this from my heart is that um, I do not necessarily um, have all the facts unlike some people who share about these videos who do like deep deep research um that's really not my calling um my calling is to speak from my heart um and when i'm guided to do so about specific issues and to connect with the earth and to be present to the wind of spirit i guess you would call it and and i expressed in this video you know my own deep hearts my love for um, people who I worry, you know, and I try not to worry because I realize there's no real sense in the worry and that it's about the surrender. But I do think that we need to be sensitive to the fact that many people may be shaken in a way that maybe we once were also, you know, and if we haven't been, we, you know, some of us have, you know, been on this kind of long trajectory in terms of, um, understanding these things you know I would say, I personally would say lifetimes for some of us but but you know certainly in terms of the awakening journey it's been you know like for myself I would say good more than two decades um, and well really uh, since I would I would trace it back to when I was 12 um, 
and I talked about that too. I, it's so, so funny. I find myself, I'm going to put this as the cover for the video. It was going to be the cover of the Vatican video that I, I just don't think it's necessary to share all those details at right now because maybe later, but um, I, I doubt it because it's so long. But one of the things that was cool is I, I was told um, a while back, you know, you know, God kind of showed me to look for the buffalo and um, the buffalo, so I, I always think of white buffalo calf woman, the story of her um, and that native imagery, but also the buffalo um, is um, significant to the person whose home I'm staying in at the moment, uh, which, you know, wasn't the plan, but it's what, you know, it's where God uh, opened the door, so I'm here, and um, or there, not, not here, here, but I'm at someone else's home at the moment, but, um, but so God told me to look for the buffalo in terms of this um, Vatican uh, prayer and the timing and I walked in in this home which I've been in many times and I just completely forgot and I look at the wall there's this awesome buffalo print and that the way you'll see it on the cover the way the light is from outside was reflecting off of this buffalo it's amazing so I'll put that as the cover of this video and I felt like it was very much the signal that now is the time for us to uh, to pray um, for I would say pray for um, the Pope and uh, Pope Francis and others of those who have the ability to um, an authority for example it is the Pope himself who is the owner of the uh, what is in the Vatican Library not the church so there is an opportunity there um, and uh, yeah there's more I could say there but I'll, I'll stop so anyway the, I walked in this house and then like there is the buffalo is amazing and um, so anyway wherever you are I hope you have a uh, fabulous weekend get outside um, the other thing that I spoke to in one of those three videos sorry about the light let me move a little bit and see which way is ooh, there maybe better um, I'm holding my phone too sorry I'm just uh, long story about my computer but in any case um, another thing I spoke to that I feel like is an opportunity right now is that uh, I named the video the long video I did about my own personal journey where I kind of named names uh, everywhere like from the top top echelon elite uh, and I didn't name names as in you know like certain people that everybody's talking about like he's bad he's good whatever not like that but I actually um, traced some things um, large large scales in terms of the a large I can't speak large scale in terms of the connections between those uh, those triadic uh, system of evil in terms of government religion and banking um, but I also um, talked about my own personal I gave some some specificity in terms of um, some tracking things that have happened through the years to me um, and one of the things that I did is I named that video uh, catacombs or covenant and I said you know we need to make a choice right now I talked about when I was 12 and I was in the catacombs which is very much related to the Vatican and um, what I experienced there and the memories uh, that were triggered um, and opened at that time and interesting lad that is the time that I was shown these uh, potential trajectories for you know kind of my life in here and now as dawn and who knows what will happen you know I still think that these three things that are shown could all still happen but uh, you know what if I go somewhere or I'm taken somewhere or taken out or whatever like I'm still here <laughs> and, um, and uh, yeah I'm here I'm here for the for the foreseeable future <laughs> you're stuck with me and um, and one of the things I talked about though is is is, is it gonna be the catacombs or is it gonna be the covenant um, the new covenant look up Jeremiah the words of the new covenant, uh, the covenant that were foreshadowed in by the prophet Jeremiah and then the new covenant. I might put them in below with this video and this is very pertinent right now for us and whether you are a person who, um, you know, regardless of your own beliefs, the opportunity is for us to understand that we are being invited into a time, a beautiful time of creation and co-creation with, with, uh, with God, and to bring into, we we are being invited to be the ones who usher in um, a grace-filled revolution of love. And as I say this, there are beautiful birds right now, and there's a nest of baby birds up there. I'm I don't think you could see it with my phone, or I'd show you. Hear them. 
<laughs> so this is a time when there is such great promise. And it's also a tender time and it's a time to honor the process that each person is going through because ultimately I believe that we are all making that choice on an individual level. Are we going to live in the catacombs? Are we going to be chased into the catacombs by fear um, and the control and manipulation that is has become commonplace in um, the global society? Or are we going to step into a new covenant and are we going to lead the way in love, walk in the way of love, and uh, choose to do the hard work of seeing ourselves and our own participation in these systems of control and manipulation, many times unknowingly, um, and, and then other times, you know, more deliberately, we have made a choice usually connected to profit and or uh, pr what we call protection. We call it protection. <laughs> um, it's absurd. But um, anyway, so this is just a, saying hi and take care. Just a quick PS. I think it's funny that uh, that phone call that interrupted the video, because I'm on my phone, is uh, was when I'm getting all these calls from the United States. You know, it's a little spam calls. Um, and uh, so the United States was calling. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, let's um, let's join our hearts together this weekend and let's hold a vision of freedom and truth and grace and that each of us return to our heart's true home in God and understand and experience fully the light and the life and the love that we are at our core. Take care, everybody.